Hey guys. Yeah. I hope the title caught your eye because I want to talk to you about what won't save your marriage and what will. So techniques, programs, disrupting her story, those don't and will not save your marriage. They can delay the death of it. But at the end of the day, you're trying to save something that's already dead. So when you hear, I need space, I want a separation, I want a divorce, or I love you, but I'm not in love with you, version 1.0 of your marriage is dead. Believe me, I've been there. And it sucks. And techniques, programs, tricks aren't going to save something that shouldn't be saved. Because what you want is a version 2.0 loving, connected, and deeply intimate relationship. And what I help men do is not save a marriage that's already dead. I help them save themselves. Because the reality is no program that boasts 90% save rate on marriages is valid. It's 50-50. Half the men I work with create a version 2.0 loving, connected, and deeply intimate relationship with their wife. The other half are happily divorced men who ultimately some of them find some amazing partners or they decide for a while not to and you can't save that version 1.0. And if I go back 20-something years ago, when we went to the pastor, he, we met together, then he met with my ex, then he met with me. And I remember, because I didn't know better, he said, this is going to be a tough one. That was code for, she's done. And there is no saving it. He was trying to let me down easy. Now, I would have done anything to save that marriage. I was crying at the corner of the bed, tell me what I need to do. But the reality is, I wasn't happy in it. I wasn't being my authentic self. So what I help men do is I help them uncover all the crap that's covering up their heart that they've lost themselves with all the BS that doesn't matter, I help them become that calm, confident, grounded, masculine man again. I don't care what people think. So, when you met her, you were that guy. But then we become adults and we take on responsibilities, then the kids come. And when the kids come, we lose ourselves even more. We become dad, provider. We're not the lover. We're not funny. We're not the friend. And the weird thing that I see, almost a 95% rate of occurring in marriages that hit the marriage crisis is 95% of them have stopped dating their wife. And you, what caused her to fall in love with you? You got to keep doing it, guys. You never get to stop dating your wife. And Melanie and I did a video where we talked about four guys who said, I'm married, I don't need to date my wife. And they're all divorced because they want to go against the laws of nature. The other shocking thing that runs about 95% as well is when I ask the question, how often do you go out with your friends? And the answer is rarely or never. So you're no longer this calm, masculine, grounded man. You're a lesser man, you've, you've allowed yourself to be deprioritized by yourself. And so it's really counterintuitive. But when the marriage crisis hits, I help men find themselves again. I help them heal. And sometimes it's healing childhood wounds. And a high percentage of them will admit to not being happy in the marriage but they desperately want to save it because they feel like that's the right thing to do. And if you hit that point, 
that marriage is dead. Now, can you create a version 2.0 with her? And the reality is, they were braver than us, willing to say, I'm done. A lot of times, a lot of guys are like, yeah, I've been unhappy for years. I know I wasn't happy, but I wasn't going to initiate a divorce with two kids. So, if you are facing a marriage crisis, I'm happy to have a conversation with you. All right, let's see if you've lost your way and if we can't help you find the way. All I am is a guide, you know, a mentor or coach. I'm guiding you back onto the path to finding yourself first and foremost. And when you do that, you got a 50-50 chance of reattracting her to a better relationship or you'll be a happy divorce guy who just absolutely loves life. All right, guys, my contact information is down below. Hope to hear from you soon.